that calmness that you're talking about has a lot to do with the fact that i was playing sunil gavaskar yeah. in 83 um and if you look at the age of the actors who were cast in 83 uh, there's not a lot of age difference between me and say a sakib or a, yeah. or a hardy but as far as sunil gavaskar was concerned he was the senior most player on that squad mm-hmm. when i uh, debuted with mardani it was a clutter breaker of a debut and i think yeah. that's really what worked in its favor the fact that they were looking at it as an anti hero like yeah. he looked like felt like and talked like the boy next door but it's his mind it, yeah. it was the the operation that he ran that was very negative the hero in my world uh, in in the film world is someone who holds the audience's hand and and entertains them and and takes them through the journey of of that that roller coaster right dream actors to work with would would definitely be sharukh khan would definitely be um Abhishek sir uh, and directors that's a very long list you know i've spent quite a few years when i'm looking for work to yeah. be at a stage when there is the pressure of an audience wanting to see what you're doing it's the best feeling in the world hi guys this is himesh and welcome to pink villa today we have with us the man who has had three releases on ott and one theatrical film tahir rajwasi welcome to pink villa tahir it's lovely having you here thank you thank you for having me you know my first question how does it feel having three ott releases one theatrical release in a span of 3 months how how does that feel like it feels mad because if someone asks me today what am i shooting for i've been shooting for promotions like for <laughs> the past like one month now i wake up in the morning there, there's like you get in you do photographs and then you start promoting uh, the next thing that's releasing yeah. uh, but jokes apart it's a happy problem like every actor dreams for the day when there is an audience that's waiting to see the next thing that comes out and yeah. the, i'm really fortunate that the stars have aligned in such a way that all of these four things that have released in this short span are so diverse from each other you yes. cannot take an 83 and a ye kali kali aankhe and compare the two True. like in, in terms of parts in terms of genres so it's fantastic to be able to showcase that kind of diversity correct but but you know as an actor you have your own unique style of acting you know like like when i watched 83 i could see that there is a sense of calmness in your eyes that right. that you convey could you tell us something about your process of getting into the characters what's it like i think the the process stems from finding the the essence like the soul of the of the character uh, that calmness that you're talking about has a lot to do with the fact that i was playing sunil gavaskar yeah. in 83 um and if you look at the age of the actors who were cast in 83 uh, there's not a lot of age difference between me and say a sakib or a, yeah. or a hardy but as far as sunil gavaskar was concerned he was the senior most player on that squad he mm-hmm. was the most uh, the most celebrated he was he was a poster boy for for indian cricket so to bring uh, that seniority mm-hmm. with uh, actors and contemporaries who are the same age as you there was there was that gravitas that silence that needed to be worked on and so yeah. that was the process that went behind uh, sunil gavaskar but if you look at uh, loop lapeta yeah. there is no calm in satya True. it's like completely yeah. like 180 degree the opposite yeah. so it really depends from from part to part but the challenge really is is finding the most human the most relatable thing of what makes that character tick true you made your debut in mardani as a negative lead and now we see you play romantic leads yeah. could you tell us something about this transition because it doesn't happen often that i think last time i remember it was sharukh khan who did dar yes. and bazigar and then that's he came a, to dbi that's a, that's a, that's a massive comparison that you just made so like just uh, like thank you for that uh, um, um, he's an institution and an inspiration um for me when i uh, debuted with mardani it was a clutter breaker of a debut and i think yeah. that's really what worked in its favor the fact that they were looking at it as an anti hero like yeah. he looked like felt like and talked like the boy next door but it's his mind it, yeah. it was the the operation that he ran that was very negative and so it was interesting for the audience and it was unsettling because hey we we really like the guy but we don't like what he's doing yeah. and that was mm-hmm. great feedback to 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 feed yeah. off but the endeavor after that was always to pick diverse and disruptive parts and you know even if it was um working with nitesh tiwari for chichore yeah. uh, there was something uh, so so cool and so layered about derek like there, there was yeah. this guy who's like the college stud but he's still vulnerable and emotional about his hostel boys and he yeah. wants h4 to really win in spite of being called the loser <laughs> you know so it it's picking on parts like that and creating diversity in everything uh, that mm. that you do and when i look at the 180 switch to playing the quote unquote romantic hero today i've always felt like no one is ever black or white there's always like shades in in between and what makes characters interesting is what is that incident that happens in the story that shifts you from going from white to black or black to white yeah. so satya for example who considers himself to be like a romantic hero right he yeah. try and charm savi on 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 the terrace but at the same time uski cigarette ulti hogi <laughs> like he he thinks he has the one liners but there's something off yeah. about him and so he is flawed like hmm. he is a flawed hero 
yeah. and that to me is it's a different out of the box way of looking at a romantic hero and it's about constantly searching for growth in myself as a person and True. as an actor and keeping the audience yeah. entertained at the same time basically it's something choosing something that's closer to the reality because even humans in general are flawed yeah yeah and it is that humanness like uh, vikrant for example in ye kali kali aankhe yeah. whose world is so far removed from what our ordinary lives are because i hope no one goes through the problems that vikrant does yeah. but um he is human in the sense that if he gets a gun to use that gun he needs to watch a youtube video hmm. which anyone would in real life i i mean it's all fiction so i hope no one ever has to do <laughs> that but uh, it is the working of what goes on behind the scenes the making of a hero yeah is vikrant's journey true or the making of an anti hero whichever way you want to look at it but how do you define hero in in like what is a hero in your world a uh, hero in my world uh, in in the film world is someone who holds the audience's hand and and entertains them and and takes them through the journey of of that that roller coaster ride and that when the audience is experiencing the film experiencing that moment through that character's experience that for me is is the hero and you know if we ask you uh, in last 7 8 years if you have to pick up one role which has been the most challenging for you which would that be the most challenging for me um would have to be mardani purely because it was the first there was a lot of pressure yeah. of having to prove myself um it was also very different and so far removed from my comfort zone yeah. i'm i'm a romantic uh, like smiley guy <laughs> in real life but to play someone who's you know in the shadows on the phone call constantly <laughs> looking at like yeah. for surveillance and like seeing whether he's being followed yeah. it took a while to get into the skin of that character but but you know if if we look at bollywood usually what happens is when you make a debut as a negative lead suppose for a case being mardani after that lot of producers and directors see you as the villain yeah. did that thing happen with you that after mardani lot of people came to you with negative uh, characters so yeah yes and no uh, purely because it, like quote and quote it he was the antagonist yeah. um but like i said because of the way he was mounted where the look and feel it's not like, i mean conventionally if you were to look at age old heroes there would be a pan stained uh, mm-hmm. teeth he would look a particular way you know he'd be wearing a gold ring you'd see the first close up of yeah. his hands going like that and you know a leather chair would turn around in the shadows and there was none of that like this was just like he could be like a boy in a coffee shop sitting next to yeah. you and uh, so it it was it was the way that he was mounted that that led to a part that was slightly different in force 2 where there was a back story of why this character is like that yeah. something had gone wrong in shiv sharma's life in in yeah. force 2 that led him to take the yeah. kind of revenge that he was yeah. on the characters and the way he was operating yeah. and uh, it like you rightly said definitely parts did come like there was a time when there were like some seven scripts in the same year where one was refusing <laughs> and it was with a very heavy heart because at that stage as an actor you just want to work sure. but at the same time you want to show diversity and yeah. so i'm very fortunate um that a film like chichore happened because that was a, it was a box office success um and it it got the national award and very rarely do those things come uh, com- combine together correct so basically you can say that was the turning point uh, when it comes to the industry projection for you it definitely was both for industry and for the audience as well because yeah. i think it was the for the first time that that audience saw that there was a there was something heroic and there was something charming in derek that yeah. that stayed with people and uh, you know it sometimes it can be a 5 minute part or it can be a 1 hour part you never know what 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 yeah. changes that perception and definitely after that studios and producers started to approach me with with scripts that i hadn't seen before because you know when i watch chichore i mean slightly off topic when when you make that entry with a cigarette in hand and smoking the slow motion walk and yeah. everything it it seemed like okay hero like the yeah. hero is over yeah. here that and he he was defined in the script as a hostel ka baap yeah so for me that that was i mean it was phenomenal and and the fact that it, there are all shades like when he wins the race in in the end yeah. uh, he cries like he breaks down and that's not normal or, or for a hero or when bevda goes into hospital hmm. he's sitting outside and he, he he's in tears so those were very layered aspects that i hadn't had the opportunity to showcase because i hadn't been offered a script like that before correct and you know talking of choices uh, of you as an actor how are you planning like what's your game plan like and how are you planning to bifurcate between say the theatrical medium and the ott medium as an actor of that, course you would a, want yeah, to that's explore that's a that's a great question because i really believe that the times that we're heading into yeah. is the is the era of a hybrid star yeah. and i say that because when mardani came out you had two choices either you be a film star or you be a tv star yeah. there was nothing in between and uh, the the idea is to continue to do disruptive 
parts like because mm. the, i've made a career out of taking roles that are slightly off center but relate on the human level yeah. so that is something that won't change um i think it's a great time because the kind of stories and the kind of writing that is happening in the ott space season 2 for yekali kali yeah. was just announced so i'm greatly looking forward to that even in films like people are accepting stories that are slightly different of mm. like of heroes and protagonists that they can root for who are or are more relatable yeah. so the idea the challenge really is to be that hybrid star is to is to blend both correct but uh, you know are there any um, like you know suppose there are films so going forward are there any uh, any factors like uh, from the word go it is decided this is an ott film or this is a theatrical or are you open with uh, the route that it eventually takes because there are so many actors who in sure. today's time are you know deciding from the word go okay okay ye ott ka film hai ye theater ka film hai you know i i wish i was the person who had the super power to predict ki ek picture ka kya hone hmm. wala hai but today we are in the environment where the biggest of pundits cannot predict that you're shooting a film today for purpose x yeah. and will it end up being purpose x because we're we're dealing with a lot of other factors when it yeah. whether it's shutdowns or the or the health and safety situations yeah. my idea is to tell uh, like endearing stories and to entertain the audience and and to do that in the most disruptive uh, way as possible and because i think somewhere in that is is there's there's a little selfish kid in me because i get bored very easily yeah. and to keep myself uh, engaged with the medium and myself entertained and to think like the audience like what would they enjoy seeing next hmm. that's the goal but is there any dream actor actress and director that you wish you, uh, wish to work with dream actors to work with would would definitely be shahrukh khan would definitely be um Amitabh Bachchan sir uh, and directors that's a very long list but just to name a few off the top of my head there would be um, um uh, Sanjay Leela Bansali Aditya oh. Chopra uh, Vishal Bhardwaj Debakar Banerjee and if you can tell from this list it's diverse it's diverse, it's yeah, diverse exactly to go from right. one to the other yeah. but that's exciting like i feel like that's the time that we live in because the, the audience is deciding uh, who the heroes are today Correct, and uh, you know, talking of uh, Kali Kali Aake, Kali Kali Aake, the the series had has got so much appreciation. Even the viewership data that Netflix has put out, yeah. it's pretty impressive in, on that front. So when you're doing a sequel to that, what are the pressures like on you as an actor uh, over there? You know, I've spent quite a few years when I'm looking for work to yeah. be at a stage when there is the pressure of an audience wanting to see what you're doing. It's the best feeling in the world. So. it's it's like i say it's a happy problem i i welcome it uh, you know in ye kali kali aake dropped on a friday by saturday people wanted a season 2 yeah. my only message to them would be to like you know, to make good content good writing and good 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 uh, looking shows and heartfelt stories take a little bit of time so patience yeah. is all uh, i would ask for but it's even is there any plan of starting shoot this year or what's um i can't talk about that yet okay. but hopefully soon the okay. writing process has begun is all i can say okay and what next for you like on on the work front uh, there are again like there are exciting shows there are exciting films that are taking place if uh, we hadn't been in the shutdown in january all of those would be in the process of shooting at the moment so there have been slight delays mm -hmm. we're about to announce them very soon and i'm like super excited if you ask me what have i been shooting for yeah. i've been shooting for promotions <laughs> this past month that's all i've been doing okay but anything happening with yrf yrf only manages me at the at the moment so they used to have the kind of contracts where they would um, take people on and you don't do work outside you only do films within mm -hmm. yrf but i think the universe of of work and the kind of content you can put out there um, they don't do that anymore so they only manage you and i'm very fortunate to have the same team that looks after ranveer's work aishman's work because what you need is people with experience yeah. um, to sort of guide your choices and and you know lastly we have this segment wherein we have put the five scenes of yours if you could dissect those scenes in in brief yeah sure that's so the first one is uh, from mardani where you are eating biryani and talking to wakil right uh, that's one of my favorite films from uh, mardani purely because as a person uh, walt was always eating through yeah. the film like whether it was a burger whether he was sipping cold coffee and uh, in his back story i had decided that jama masjid that area in biryani, like biryani was his favorite food <laughs> so it's a scene where he is talking to someone who's the closest to him so that's his primary focus his secondary focus would be the food that he's <laughs> really enjoying and for people who've seen the film and remember it there's also a girl that's talking to him Uh, and he's talking back yeah. uh, to her so th there's a lot going on in that scene and in that chaos there were traffic jams there were people who wanted to come on to set so there is i think there's a moment in that in that scene when i actually look over my shoulder and the directors kept that but actually i'm looking over because there's some chaos and there's a lot of people <laughs> talking in the background and those are fantastic moments that actually make film because when you can have a natural moment and the director keeps that it's, it's golden a, 
Correct. Uh, the next one is Chichore, where you are sitting outside the hospital when Devda was admitted. You know, Derek in Chichore, he was projected as this hostel stud, as like the hostel ka bap. But that was a beautiful moment for me because that shows his vulnerable side. And that is not a side that I had explored as an actor before. It was a very special and a very complicated scene to do. Then there is Ye Kali Kali Aakhe, where the window meeting with Shika. Oh, that is, that is just such a classic Bollywood romantic <laughs> moment of a Romeo and Juliet happening on the windowsill. And I remember that was the first scene that Shweta Tripathi and I did together. And we did a couple of readings and we and we did it. And it's just so beautiful and natural the way it's executed. Um, and I think there's a line in that to say, Shah Rukh Giri ban karo tum phas gaye ho. I think just the fact that there was a reference to, to, to Shah Rukh Khan in a romantic scene with the title of Ye Kali Kali Aankhe, it was just a lot of like, like childhood dreams coming through. Then there is uh, one from uh, Ranji Shisai, slapping Jagan Seth to defend Amna. Oh, you know, very often as a character, uh, it's very interesting if your childhood is shown and, and the audience has a backstory. And one of the things in Shankar's childhood is that he cannot take a woman being uh, mistreated or misrepresented in any way. And Jagan Seth has the gall to call the girl that Shankar is with a Rakhel and that word sets him off. And for me, the fact that it was written in such a way that just one word triggers a character to take a physical action like that it was very powerful. And last one from Loop Lapeta, running at the end of third loop in the film, uh, in the wedding avatar and Savi's proposal to Satya. It's just such a cinematically beautiful moment where Satya has managed to get what he was after. Uh, Savi is in a bridal outfit and they've shot it in slow motion with like beautiful background music and you know you have a core objective as a character in a film and Satya's was that he wants to marry Savi yeah. and very r r rarely do you see that that objective is met at the end of the film in such a picture perfect manner yeah. with like a slow motion kiss happening between hmm. the hero and the heroine and it was just like it was an ode to like every romantic film that I have grown up watching it was beautiful to create. Perfect. Thank you so much Tyre. It was lovely talking to you and looking forward to all the film, show and Kali Kali <laughs> Thank you. Always a pleasure. Thank, Thank you. you so much and good luck. Thanks. Yeah. Hey guys, this is Tahir Raj Bhaseen. If you like this video, like, share and subscribe to Pink Villa.